Erica, guts are given, blunders again. Erica goes by the nom de plume, guts are given. She has the undisputed top channel on YouTube for paleoanthropology. Her videos typically gain over 100,000 views. Her video on the Ark Museum two years ago gained an astonishing half a million views. About half of Erica's videos are attacking Christians with the help of her atheist friends. She also attacks mainline conservatives, particularly over climate change. We here at Right Anthro took Erica to task six months ago. She had made a series of videos in 2022 attacking right anthropologist Robert Sepper. In her videos, she made a series of errors in basic math. She launched a segment on the 2019 UCLA study on archaic common DNA admixture in modern Africans. Sepper had correctly cited a figure of up to 19% archaic ghost species admixture for Africans. Her first error, quote, and Asian people have Denisovan DNA up to 12%, end quote. Asian woman on the left, Melanesian woman on the right. They are entirely separate populations. She compounds the error by giving a figure of 12% Denisovan admixture. She offers no citation. The highest archaic DNA recorded in Melanesians is 7% in some isolated Filipino tribes. She then cites a 7% figure for archaic hominid DNA admixture from just the Yoruba and Mende tribes. She completely ignores the top line figure of 19% overall for Africans. Quote, now the percentage for these people is about 6.6% for the Yoruba, 7% for the Mende. This is noticeably lower than the Denisovan DNA for folks of Asian descent, end quote. She said it with a snark and a hearty har har, no doubt thinking that nobody would ever catch the enormous discrepancy in her numbers. Was it a legitimate error or a deliberate attempt to spin the numbers? We'll likely never know. Neanderthals had brain capacity of 1400 CC. Denisovans were at 1500 CC. Australopithecines and Homo naledi were at 400 to 500 cc. For comparison, chimpanzees are at 350 to 400 cc brain capacity. As top paleoanthropologists like John Hawks and Lee Berger have suggested, the mysterious species X admixture with Africans is likely Homo naledi. Acknowledging Homo naledi DNA admixture in modern Africans would not fit Erica's social activist narrative. Erica's newest mistake. In August 2023, we released a video on HLD6 Walong Dung Man discovered in China. In mid-September, Erica, lo and behold, released a similar video. We also released a video on the Miocene ape discovery in August, and two weeks later, Erica covered the same topic. A quick definition. From LimeScience.com, the Pleistocene Epoch is a geological time period that includes the last ice age, when glaciers covered huge parts of the globe. This epoch began about 2.6 million years ago and ended 11,700 years ago. In her HLD6 video, Erica gives a lengthy explanation of the Pleistocene. She then discusses the various hominid species during the Middle Pleistocene. Two minutes and 40 seconds in, quote, by the time of the Middle Pleistocene rolls about 1.2 million years ago to around 700,000 years ago, that block of time, most hominids that are not part of genus Homo have gone extinct. Continuing, quote, we no longer see things like Australopithecus or Homo naledi, end quote. From the Smithsonian, in 2017, the Homo naledi fossils were dated to between 335,000 and 236,000 years ago.
Erica is a PhD student in primatology. She's a part-time science teacher. She has the number one YouTube channel without rival on paleoanthropology. Yet, she gets the dates wrong for Homo naledi by 400,000 to 900,000 years ago. Thanks for watching. Remember, pass this video on to others, especially your liberal friends.